Hello, I'm Charlotte. I'm Audrey. How are you doing? Not the greatest. What's been bothering you? Well, my best friend, Oliver, died four weeks ago. He killed himself. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. We were really close. He was always there for me when I needed him, and I just, I didn't realize I wasn't there for him. And now I should be getting on with my life and moving along, and I just can't. I know he shouldn't be dwelling on what happened and his death, but that's all I can think about. And he'd be wanting me to think of the better times and the fun we had, but I just can't. Well, you two are very close, and grief is a process, and it takes time, and you can't rush anything. So, a good start would maybe be telling me some positive memories you do have with Oliver. Okay. Well, there's this one time at last year's New Year's Eve party. It was me and Oliver and our friends Tiffany and Katie. <laughs> Rose bad? No. It's just that perfection takes time. <laughs> Wait, um, where's Tiffany? She's still in the car. Her song is on. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Audrey, I got the chance to watch your film. Your performance was breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. I was really hoping for that role. I've heard a lot of Oscar buzz. That wouldn't surprise me. Thank you. So, how is everyone else's year? Um, <laughs> no comment. I'm gonna need a drink for that one. Let's just say my Tinder dates were flops and sobriety is overrated. <laughs> Um, mine wasn't the best either, uh, but I just have to say, it just feels great for all of us to be together right now, like we used to be. Those are the days. <laughs> yeah. Tell me a little bit more about who Oliver was. Oliver was... Musical. He was a singer. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how did you two become so close? Oliver was there for me when I felt like I had nobody else. My parents kicked me out of the house because, well, they disowned me. there for me at my lowest point and he didn't have to be.